hallelujah. Indeed, he's an incredible God, hallelujah. The song says, incredible God, deserve incredible praise. And what day to give him that incredible praise than today, the day that we celebrate as Palm Sunday, where we can open up our mouths and we can cry, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So as you are coming into the sanctuary, welcome, welcome, come on in, come on. Adoration. When the people saw Jesus coming into the city, they had that adoration on their hearts. They had that joy. They were expectant. And today, are we expectant as we come into the sanctuary? Are you coming in with an expectation for an encounter, for a divine visitation? He is visiting us today. Thank you, Jesus. He is alive. He is not dead. So don't walk in here as it is a memorial it is not a memorial it is a celebration a celebration of the king of glory the one who rode in the one who rode in for our victory the one they cried out and they say Hosanna oh God we thank you this morning we are grateful this morning for the spotless lamb anyone grateful for the perfect sacrifice come on in this morning don't let me pray by myself I encourage you to pray with me today in the mighty name of Jesus as you come into the sanctuary come with a praise on your lips come with worship on your mind this is a day to render praise for the work that was done at Calvary oh God we thank you today as Jesus was coming in the Pharisees said to the people oh that you would make them quiet oh that you would make them be silent but Jesus looked unto them and he said unto them if if these would hold their peace, if Christ Savior would hold their peace, if you would hold your peace today, the stones will cry out. No stone will cry out for me today. The stones will not cry out, for he is the Passover lamb. He is the one that protects us, the one that covers us, the one that's keeping us because of his perfect sacrifice. Oh God, we thank you today. Thank you for the mercies today. The word of the Lord said the mercies are new every morning. New mercies, oh God. Thank you as the sun rose up this morning, God. Mercies were released unto us. Oh God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. Are you thankful on today? Thank you for your mercy because of his compassion that we are not consumed. The word says, great is your faithfulness. You are faithful to the cross. You are faithful, oh God. We thank you for your faithfulness today. Thank you, Lord God, for at Calvary, oh God, you silenced the accuser. Oh God, we thank you today. At Calvary, Lord God, chains were broken. At Calvary, Lord God, the veil was rent and we now have access. Oh, come on, somebody. Shift your minds today. Shift your minds today. We're talking about the King of Glory. We're talking about Jesus today, the one that is able, the one that is more than able. Oh God, we thank you today. Step into the place of prayer with me. Come on in. Come on in. It's time for us to go deeper. Oh God, we thank you today. He said unto the people, if they knew as Jesus entered the city, he cried. He said, if these people would know the things that belong to their peace, or do you know the things that belong to your peace? He said it was in it from their eyes. Oh God, open up our eyes today. Oh God, we thank you today for by your stripes, oh God, we know that we are healed with your stripes oh God we are healer today open up our eyes today we would see Jesus today we would see Jesus today oh God we thank you today oh God we thank you today the stones will not cry out for Christ saving today no stones will open up their mouth for me today the stones will not open up their mouth it's a metaphor but the stones have no mouth I have a mouth you have a mouth you gotta open up your mouth son today and you got to give him the glory today. He is worthy of the glory. He is worthy of the praise. Oh God, we thank you today. No one beside you, no one above you. Oh God, 
God, we give you the glory today. Those stones will cry out for me today. Oh God, oh God, we thank you today. Oh God, speak to our souls today. Speak to our hearts today. Oh God, let the blind see today. Oh, that we would see Jesus. Oh, that we would see Jesus. Oh God, unstop the deaf ears today. Oh, that you would hear a word today. Oh, that you would hear a word today. Oh, that our hearts are prepared. Prepare the fire going off your heart. Blow it up now for the word that is coming. It needs a fertile ground this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we come to say, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. He come in the name of the Lord. Oh God, we thank you today. We are grateful today. Hosanna, oh God. Hosanna in the highest. We will bow before you today. We bow before you today. We give you the glory today. We give you the honor today. We shall back you today. Oh God, we shall back you today. Oh God, we shall back you today. Oh highest praise to you today. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah in the highest. Hallelujah in the Ramosha. Hallelujah in the Ramosha. Hallelujah in the Ramosha. Hallelujah in the highest. Oh God, we are here for you today. Oh God, we are here for you today. Come and do what you do. Miracles are what you do. Oh God, we need a divine visitation today. Oh God, we are expecting today. Oh God, for an encounter with you today. We are expecting today. We come with expectation in our hearts today. Expect you to move today. Expect you to touch today. Oh God, there is a contact today. Oh God, we thank you for the veil has been rent. The veil has been rent. And we thank you for access. Access into your presence. Oh, by your blood, oh God. You are seated on the right hand of the Father. Thank you for making intercession for us. He is interceding on your behalf. He is interceding on my behalf. Oh, by the blood. Oh, that the blood. Oh, God, the perfect sacrifice. Thank you, Jesus. The perfect lamb. The Passover lamb. Oh, by his blood. We are covered. We are covered and protected. Oh, by his blood. We are covered and protected. Oh, God, the spotless lamb. Was there another? Will there be another? No, God. Oh, God, only you, Jesus. There's only one Savior. And he rose, oh, God. We thank you for resurrection power. Come on, somebody. Oh God, we thank you for resurrection power today. Oh God, that ignites us today. That quicken us today. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we give you the glory today. Resurrection power. Resurrection power. For if you did not raise from the grave, our faith is in vain. Our faith is not in vain. For he rose up and he rose with our power. He rose up with our power. Having four principalities and power, he made a show of them openly God and he triumphed over them that we may have victory today our victory oh God it is secure today oh God in the name of Jesus for he nailed it to the cross you nailed it God oh God you nailed our sins to the cross oh God that sin will have no dominion over us you nailed it in the cross no force of darkness can have dominion over us for you nailed it to the cross having poor principalities and power Oh God, we thank you, God. You make a show of them openly, God, triumphant over them. And in that, oh God, we have the confidence today. We come with a confidence. Oh God, how did I say? We come with a confidence today. We are confident in you today. Oh God, we thank you today. Oh God, power belongs to the church. Power belongs to the church. We are not powerless today. Oh God, we thank you, Lord God. Baptize us afresh today. Refill us afresh today. Someone need a touch today. Oh God, we're asking you to do what only you can do. Touch us afresh today. Baptize us afresh today. Come like the wind. Come like the mighty rushing wind today. Oh God, we want that baptism today. Flood our hearts out today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that you would see Jesus. Oh God, we look in the eyes of faith. Not by what we see around us, oh God. We thank you for the eyes of faith. Oh God, we thank you today. Look deep in the eyes of faith. Let our our face be enlarged today. 
Let our faith be increased today. We come to the place of prayer. Oh God, we thank you for the house of prayer. This is a house of prayer. Bethlehem was a house of bread, but this is a house of prayer. Oh God, the bread is here. Jesus is the bread. Oh God, you are the bread of life. Oh God, if you come today, we will not thirst, oh God. We will thirst, oh God, but you are the one that is able to quench us, oh God. So we are asking you, Lord God, set us ablaze today. Oh, that we would not quench the spirit of the living God. Come on, somebody. Do not quench the spirit of the living God. Do not quench the spirit of the living God. Oh, God. Do not quench the spirit of the living God. Oh, God, we ask you today just to have your way, God. Give us the cloven tongues of fire. Oh, God, rest upon us today. Hey, God. Rest upon us today. Oh, God, rest upon us today. Open up our eyes today. Oh, that we would see Jesus today. The one that came for our salvation. The one that came to redeem us. The one that broke the shackle. He is a supernatural jailbreaker. He's here to break the chains today. He's here to restore you today. He's here to the emotion. Oh God, come on, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Have your way, Jesus. Have thine own way, God. Have thine own way, God. Oh, God, yes, God. Oh, God, you are the potter today. Oh, God, we step on the potter's wheel today that you may mold us today, that you may make us, oh, God. Oh, God, we want to be like you, Jesus, in your image, oh, God, like you, Jesus, in our attitude, oh, God, like you, Jesus, in our dispositions, oh, God. Oh, God, how that we would have the mind of Christ today. Oh, God, somebody touch your mind. Give me the mind of Christ today. Oh God, renew my mind today. Renew my thoughts today. Remove the boundaries, oh God. Remove, oh God. Expand the territories of my mind today. Oh, that we would see you, Lord God. Oh God, we would not limit our thinking today. Oh God, expand our hearts today. Expand our minds today. Oh God, we will not shrink in our thinking, oh God. Oh God, we want to see you today. Oh God, that you have your way today. Oh God, increase our faith on today. Father, we thank you for the word. The word that is to come today. Oh God. God, we ask you now, break up the fallow grounds of our hearts, oh God. Prepare us for the word on today. Oh God, we come to eat today. We come to dine today. We come to feast at the master's table today. Oh, that someone will get the crumbs on today. Even the crumbs from the master's table. Oh God, we thank you today. We come to eat of you today. We come to sup with you today. We come to dine with the king of glory today. We are singing Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Oh God, we give you the highest praise. Oh God, we thank you. Let the praises of our Lord be upon our tongues today as a two-edged sword. And your word, oh God, let it pierce our hearts today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, that we would see Jesus. Oh, that we would see Jesus. Oh, that we would see Jesus. We are here for you, God. We are here for you, God. Come and touch our hearts today. Touch our minds today. Oh God, we are here for you. The right rocks will not cry. No, 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 shut up. The rocks will not cry out today. We open up our mouths today. You will hear our voice, oh God, in the realm of the spirit, oh God. You will hear our voice, oh God, in heaven's court. Oh God, in heaven's courts today. Oh God, we come to you, Jesus. Oh God, he said if you would draw nigh. He said if you would, no, no, no. He said if you would draw nigh unto him. He said if you would draw nigh unto him. This is a moment to draw nigh unto him. He will draw to you. We want a visitation. So draw nigh unto him. Oh, draw nigh unto him now. Oh, God, we want to touch you today. Oh, that we will touch the hem, God. Even the hem of your garments. No rock will cry out today. Oh, God, we will not be silent. Oh, God, hallelujah. I will not be silent. We will not be silent, oh, God. We will not be silent. Let heaven hear your voice, Christ Savior. Let God God, hear your voice today. Give him the glory. We decree, oh God, Hosanna in the highest. If you have a voice today, open up your mouth and say, Hosanna. Oh God, we give you the praise today. We give you the honor today. I invite you to bless him today. I invite you to praise him today. I invite you to worship him today in spirit and in truth. Oh God, you said, oh God, that the Father seeketh such them that will worship you in spirit and in truth. Is 
this a church that will worship in spirit and in truth? Are you a people that will worship in spirit and in truth? Oh God, shift our minds today. Let there be a shift in this place today. Shift the atmosphere, God. Oh God, we cry out to you. Oh God, we cry out to you. Oh, we call upon the name of Jesus. We call upon the name of Jesus. No other name we know. No other help we know. But that the name of Jesus. You said every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus. Every tongue will confess. Oh God, we thank you today. Things in the heaven, things in the earth. Even under the earth. Can you imagine that? Everything will bow before him. Everything will bow before him. We come to bow before you today. Oh God, we thank you today on our knees before you today our hearts are open to you today oh god we pour out today our alabaster box is open we open the alabaster box today oh god we thank you today we pour out our praises onto you today receive our praises today receive our worship today receive adoration today receive your glory today oh god we express oh god our joy to you jesus the rock on which we stand, God. You are our sure foundation. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah, it belongs to you. Oh, hallelujah, it belongs to you. You deserve the worship. You deserve the praise. Oh, God, we thank you today. Make this your dwelling place, oh, God. Come on in, oh, God. Dwell with us today. Be with us today. Make this your dwelling place. Oh, God, we want to please you today. Sanctify our hearts today. Wash us afresh today. Forgive us of our sins on today. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness today. Purify us today. Sanctify us today. Make this your dwelling place today. Dwell with us today. Overtake us, oh God. Pursue us and overwhelm us. Let your presence overwhelm us in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, have your way. Have thine own way, God. Have thine own way. Have thine own way today. Have thine own way. Oh God, come on, raise up on your feet today. Help us, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. He gives you strength on today. He has given you stamina today. Hey, oh God, rest upon your feet today. We will praise him today. We will give him the honor today. This is the day, God, that you have made. We will rejoice in it and be glad in it. We declare, oh God, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Oh God, we welcome you today. We welcome you today. We welcome you today. Have your way in here today. Have thy no way, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are prayed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come to lift him up. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the prayer that went forth. Hallelujah. They raised their palms and they blessed the Lord. And we have come to bless him on today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you are all so quiet up in here. Hallelujah. Can we give the Lord a praise? Hallelujah. Can we give God Hallelujah. the praise? Hallelujah. The King of the praise. The Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one that is worthy. Hallelujah. We thank you. Welcome to Christ Haven, everyone. Praise be the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed be the rock, oh, blessed be, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hey! <laughs> 
be the rock. Blessed be, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Jesus be the rock. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. We have 
Jesus, as they come to bless the Lord, the flag and tambourine ministry. How many of you got your tambourines in your hands? <laughs> come on, let's join in with the flag and tambourine ministry. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, people of God, put your hands together as they're coming. We're going to give God praise along with them. Come on, clap your hands. You know the song already. Yeah. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens. And his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. Give God the highest praise and knowledge. Him always and all God's people say, Halle, 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 Above the nations, and his glory above the nations. The Lord is high above the heavens. The Lord is high above the heavens, and his glory above the nations. And his glory above the nations. I know your name today, exalt you in all your ways. Let God, God, people say, Hallelujah! 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 Say yes. Yes. Say she's 
Jesus. Oh, yes. Food on my table. Yes. I know that he is able. Yes. Oh, yes. And if you just feel like giving God some praise, somebody throw your head back and yes. say yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Say yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
Lord, the way we praise him today. Hallelujah. It's a memorial of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's entry into Jerusalem before he was about to go to the cross. So we have these palms in our hands as the people and as the Israelites laid palms down in front of them and bless the Lord for his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. And today we celebrate that day that Jesus came down to 42 generations that died on the cross for my sin, for your sin, for the sins of the world. And this is why we should always give God a mighty praise. Yes. Hallelujah. And don't take it for granted. Thank you, Jesus. It's also a blessing that on this morning, three souls went down into the waters of baptism. So this is why we give him some praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, we thank God for Sade. Hallelujah. Dyke Farmer. We thank God for Sheree, Dyke's farmer. Hallelujah. We thank God for Cameron, Dyke's farmer. Hallelujah. These sisters that went down in the waters of baptism. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And let the church say amen. Hallelujah. Come on, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Y'all remember when you got baptized? Hallelujah, <laughs> yes. Remember when the fire fell on you? Remember when God filled you with the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Come on, let's Hallelujah. magnify. Hallelujah. We're not dry. Huh? We're filled with the Spirit. Huh? And we're on fire. Hallelujah. For the Lord today. Yes. I thank the Lord. Hallelujah. For my three sisters. Hallelujah. And now even at this time. Hallelujah. We want to welcome our first time visitors. Hallelujah. We are so glad that you made a decision to worship with us this morning. If there be any first time visitors with us today, please stand that we may acknowledge you. Any first time visitors here with us this morning, please stand. Amen. Well, Amen. come on, put your hands together for our sister here. Amen. Thank God for having you today. Amen. Come on, everybody. Amen. Put your hands together, hallelujah, hallelujah. for the Lord hallelujah. directing our sister to this house Amen. today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, listen, at the service, sister, please stop by the welcoming table. We have a gift that we want to give unto you. Amen. We ask everyone, put your hands together one more time for our sister in the house. Hallelujah. And put your hands together one more time for the Hallelujah. baptism. I just Hallelujah. said somebody got baptized. Hallelujah. I remember that was a time when somebody Hallelujah. would get baptized. The whole church would bless the Lord. Thank the Lord for the souls, hallelujah, that hallelujah. repented of their sins and decided to follow the word of God to be baptized, to have their sins washed away. Amen. They're waiting for the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is so good. I thank the Lord for being here. My name is Elder Pete Sullivan, better known as Spencer Hayes Sullivan. That's my government. <laughs> so I thank the Lord for being here. Thank the Lord for our bishop who's on his way out in a minute. For, hallelujah. Bishop Isidore Grant Jr. Thank the Lord for Lady Grant. Hallelujah in the house. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord for everyone that's here today to celebrate the Lord with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I just want to make this brief announcement for Good Friday service. It's going to be a noonday service. This Friday, hallelujah, Christ saving, March 29th, Good Friday service. So if you want to come, please come and attend and bless the Lord. It will be, I believe it will be starting, why don't say time on here, at noonday, 12 o'clock noonday. So we thank the Lord for that. So if you're available, please avail yourself and come and bless the Lord with Christ saving in the name of Jesus, all right? Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Now that we're going to do, we're going to be doing a right hand of fellowship at the bishop come out. So we're going to ask if our ushers and our deacons would get prepared to lift the offering. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. It's time to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, Brother Mike, can you give us an offertory song? Thank you, Jesus. It's time to bless the Lord what he have already blessed you with. Everything you have, God owns it. 
and he lent it to us. Your house, your cars, your job, the clothes. God has blessed us with this. Hallelujah. And we thank him for it today. Hallelujah. Thank the Lord for my wife, Evangelist Mindy Sullivan. Hallelujah. And I got hallelujah. Woo! Thank God for her. And I want to thank the Lord for my two grandbabies that's in the house. Amen. We just had a 12th grandbaby on Thursday. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. And these are my two young grandchildren, Amen. Chaz and Princeton. Thank God for them. Hallelujah. hallelujah being in town with us this week. Thank you, Jesus, for them. Hallelujah. So, if y'all ready, got your envelopes together, please follow the instructions on the monitors as far as way given. Hallelujah. And we're going to ask if our ushers and deacons, you may proceed to take the offering. Come on, Brother Mike. Bless us with your son. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together as we enter into the hearts of the Lord. We sing praises, praise us to our God. Come on, sing it with me, oh magnify, oh magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt, let us exalt his name together as we, in, as we enter into the house of the lord we sing praises praises to, praises to our god if you know the call put those hands together as you give it oh magnify the lord oh magnify the lord with me let us exalt his name let us exalt his name For the Lord, He is great, and He's worthy to be praised. Magnify Him and lift Him up. For the Lord, He is great. For the Lord, He is great, and He's worthy to be praised. Magnify Him and lift Him up. One more time, for the Lord, He is great. For the Lord, He is great, and He's worthy to be praised. Magnify Him and lift Him up. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt His name. Let us exalt His name together. As we enter into, as we enter into the house of the Lord, we sing praises, praises to our God. Put your hands together. Let's give our God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. We have one more further announcement. I wanted to let you know, if you desire to be with uh, Pastor Brian Whittington and Lady Whittington this afternoon fellowship today at Christ Covenant Family Worship Center, 1390 Red Lion Road, Bear, Delaware. Free dinner will be served at 3 o'clock p.m. And we will have the Todd family will be singing during that service. So put your hands together for the Whittington family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For that service will be this afternoon, Pastor Brian Whittington, Lady Whittington, Christ Covenant Family Worship Center, 1390 Red Lion Road, Bear, Delaware. Free dinner will be served at 3 o'clock p.m. The Todd family will be singing during that service. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for the Todd family, for the sisters. Hallelujah for all that they do in ministry. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we will have our children's choir today. And uh, children's choir rehearsal will be, at this time, you're going to be released to children's choir rehearsal because Bishop is not out yet, so we're going to turn them into the hands of the choir's director. Is that correct? So all the children that's on the choir, 
please meet up with uh, Sister Ronnie. Are you doing that, or is there someone? together for our children's choir. Amen. Give God glory, honor, and praise. Give us another praise and worship song, please, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's wait for the bishop to come out. Hallelujah. We just want to give God the praise, the glory, and honor. Because he's the reason why we're here today. To magnify the Lord. To magnify his name. For taking our feet out of the mock and murray clay. And he placed it on a rock to stay. We give God glory, honor, and praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because where would we be if it had not been for the Lord? Who was on our side. Hallelujah. All of us was messed up. All of us has sinned and have come short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. How many of you know that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God? Hallelujah. Is eternal life through Jesus Christ. We thank the Lord for eternal life. We thank the Lord for water baptism. We thank the Lord for Holy Ghost and filling. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, brother Mike. Bless us with a song. I have been touched, changed, healed. Yes, sir. Totally free from sin. Every shadow broke. Now I can live. I can say now. I have been touched, hallelujah, changed, healed, totally free from sin. Thank you, Jesus. Every shackle, now I can live. Now I can live again. Hallelujah. I've been restored. I've been restored. our pastor and the person of Bishop Isidore Grant Jr. You, Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue singing that song, please. I have been such a Satan. Come on, say it. And we're going to be free from sin. Every shackle.
sin When all of my sins came Between us It was just Unexplainable Unconditional Somebody give God a praise for his unexplainable. Come on, give him a praise for his unconditional love. Hallelujah. Let's open our mouth and celebrate the word to God. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God. Unexplainable. Unconditional love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Only, only the redeemed of the Lord can say this. Come on. Open Hallelujah. Matter of fact, take your palms in your hand. I trust you all have already done this. And somebody say, declare Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed be the rock, man, the rock of our salvation. Hallelujah. Unexplainable, unconditional love. Hallelujah. Celebrate them one more time. Unconditional love. That's right. Hallelujah. Come on, praise him. Worship. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. For everything that had breath, praise the Lord. So you can inhale and you can exhale. Open your mouth and give God another praise this morning. Hallelujah. Unexplainable, unconditional love. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. the Lord. Worthy to be praised. Somebody say, Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Did you all already sing that? Man, I'm going to sing it one more time. I'm in here now. Amen. I wish something to the Lord, but just to help me magnify, I need y'all to help me worship the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. We're going to move quickly. Hosanna. Oh, magnify the Lord. Somebody said, For he, for he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Hosanna, blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. They're playing softly real quick. We're going to call for our sister Linnell Stevens. Amen. Yeah, Sister yeah. Linnell Stevens, if she would come, amen. Give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Hey. Hallelujah. All right. Here she comes. Y'all keep on praising yeah. the Lord as she comes. Hallelujah. She's going to bring her little ones with her also. Yeah. Uh, somebody. Uh, now y'all got to act like this is a sanctified church. Yeah. Now, I had to spend a few extra minutes in the back taking supplements and everything else to give me some strength to stand. Yeah. I want to say it again. I had to take a few extra minutes in the back. Right. And man, taking supplements and everything to give me strength to be able to stand. So I expect everybody that's feeling good in their body to come on, open your mouth and give God some praise. Hallelujah! Well, have you come right here? Come on, come on. Ooh, 
Y'all gonna make me work to nothing. Y'all gonna push me, make me work today. There ought to be a praise in the house of the Lord. God bless you, Mom. Thank God for Mother Anna Wiggins. Amen. An awesome woman of God. Amen. We give God the praise, the glory, and the honor for seeing her in the house of God. And Mom Wiggins, you look good, too. In Jesus' name. Amen. And look, my people, you look good. In Jesus' name. Amen. I got to keep on going. Mom Thomas, you look good. In Jesus' name. Now y'all come on and praise the Lord. I got any worshipers in the house? I ain't gonna try to, they gonna make me work, they gonna make me hook myself. Yeah, I gotta, and I gotta do this to give God a praise. And I'm gonna the Lord. Sanctified now. Give God a praise. Alright, I'm gonna get right out of the way. But take a little bit of time and worship God. Lord, I thank God. I know why He gave you the, I now know why He gave you the message. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen. We are so happy what the Lord is doing in our dear sister Linnell's life and her wonderful grandbabies. They are prayer warriors too. They little ones of faith, knowing what the grandmom going through. And they say, we believe God, amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. And the beautiful thing about it, these little ones, again, uh, they they will begin to declare what they see modeled before them. And we are believing God for healing, for deliverance, for victory. Yes. Everything concerning you. He said, all I see is victory. Somebody come on and give God a praise. Yeah. It, oh, I, it's going to be all right. Woo. Oh, I, it's going to be all right. You ought to testify to somebody and tell them, did I tell you? It's gonna be alright. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey. It's gonna be alright. That's the only reason why we can say that. Hey. It's because of the faithfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Have he not yeah. said and shall he not yeah. let it come to pass? So yeah. I'm not trying to go there yet. Lord. I gotta conserve some of this. Somebody come on and give me the praise. I don't know about you, but I got to praise and I got to get it out. Hallelujah. I got to praise. Yeah, hallelujah. That's right, in spite of it. Somebody said by way of song, through it all, I learned to trust in Jesus. Learned to trust in God. Let, let me get this done. Glory to God. But we are so honored by the grace of God. The Holy Spirit has touched the heart of Sister Linnell. And she has desired to become a full member of the Christ Haven Pentecostal Hallelujah. Church. Hallelujah. Man, come on, Christ Haven. Give the Lord a hand Hallelujah. praise. Hallelujah. On this 24th day of the month of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024, we honor and praise the Lord, and we honor our assistant pastors who are standing with us. Somebody give God a hand praise for Elder Pete Sullivan. Hallelujah. Amen. In Jesus' wonderful name. And again, our assistant pastor, Elder Steve Fleming, in Jesus' name. And for all of you leaders here in the house of the Lord, Amen. So, Sister Stevens, we're going to ask you to stand there as we read the membership pledge and obligation. Thank you, Elder Fleming. Amen. You all can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Again, it's a worship song we're going to sing before. Amen. We get into the word of the Lord today. Amen. But we thank and praise God, Sister Linnell Stevens. Amen. As it is listed here, and it declares that we all should be able to declare, have been born into, and you got to be born into body of Christ. Yeah. Amen. I don't care what garment we have on. We can have on our Pope's hat and everything else. We cannot take the right hand and initiate anybody into the body of Christ. You got to be born into the body of Christ. Man, man can't do this. The spirit of God does this. Someone say amen. You got to be born of water and you must be born of spirit in Jesus name. Through baptism in the wonderful name of the Lord. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what that name does for you, but every time I think about the name of Jesus, it sends chills through my spine. Somebody say, I get a quiver in my liver. You ought to say, Jesus! They ought to bring you to your knees! Let me stop. I'm going to use up all the strength I got, Daniel. Oh, Jesus. All right. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! 
Somebody just say Jesus. I feel it. I feel it. Uh, yeah. Fear with the power of the Holy Ghost. According to the scripture, Acts 2 and 4, Acts 2, 38. So being thus the case, I pledge by God's grace and help. So sister, we're now going to read each of these and you need to declare, I pledge by God's grace and help. Amen. To be able to perform each of these bullet points that we have here because you're going to become a member. Uh, and that's a wonderful thing to be a member of Christ Haven, but it's, it's more important to be a member of the body of Christ. Amen. To be connected to Jesus. Amen. So with that being said, you must pledge to keep yourself from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God according to 2 Corinthians 7.1. And if you will pledge that, you say, I, I pledge by God's grace and help. Excellent. Amen. Glory to God. To conduct myself everywhere as becomes a Christ-centered believer. And you can say, I pledge by God's grace and help. Mm -hmm. And this goes for everybody. All of everything I'm reading, this is now. Amen. We all need to reemphasize this in our minds and our spirits. Amen. Each point to endeavor to manifest a spirit of brotherly love and fellowship toward all God's people, not just the ones we like, toward all God's people. I just added that. I put that in there. I pledge by God's grace and help. Not to forsake the assembling of myself together with the with them that are sanctified as a manner of some is. According to Hebrews 10, 25, you can say, I pledge by God's grace and help. She already, she's going to take herself a sip. Lord Jesus, God bless it in Jesus' name. That's all right, you little one. <laughs> Glory to God. To support the work of the assembly, amen, with my prayers and financial aid in the form of tithes and offering as God prospers me. He can declare that I pledge by God's grace. And thank you. To maintain, here it is, especially for these little ones in the family, to maintain family and secret devotion. I, I like that. You said, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, to abide by the rules of this assembly, Christ Haven Pentecostal Church incorporating the rules of its parent body, the world assemblies of restoration according to Titus 2, 1 through 8 and Hebrews 13 and 17. I pledge my God and to avoid all ungodly and worldly amusements and bring no reproach upon the name of Christ. Amen. God bless you, Sister Linnell. So, our dear Sister Linnell, so according to the power, again, invested in me by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ as a pastor of the Christ Haven Pentecostal Church. Amen. Amen. And we celebrate and honor our forefather, Bishop William Todd and Mother Thomas C. Todd. We now extend to you the right hand of fellowship. Amen. As a full official member of the Christ Haven Pentecostal Church. That covers all of you too. Amen. Oh, what blesses me. This is for you. Jesus is a friend of mine. Precious oh, with Jesus. 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 Fellowship divine. Oh, what blesses me. Communion. Jesus is a friend of mine. Jesus, fellowship me communion. Jesus is a friend of mine. We're going straight to the word. We got to move. It's already 1241 and we have fellowship. Amen. Pastor Whittington will be celebrating their fifth anniversary for those that will be able to make it. Come on, give God a hand. Praise for the Lord. Bless him. Thank God again. Amen. And we, for those who will be able to make it, the Todd sisters will be ministering there. Come on, give God a hand. Praise to help celebrate. So we're going to pray all that all Christ Haven can go out and support that are available. They're going to be serving dinner at 3 o'clock. So that gives me 15 minutes. Amen. <laughs> What's for? Ain't nothing fun, right? <laughs> Glory to God. In the name of the Lord. I'm just messing with you. Thank you. God bless in Jesus' name. And as well, by the grace of God, I got to move forward in Jesus' wonderful name. But there's a song that's on my heart, and we're going to ask everyone to please stand because we're going to go straight to the word after this. But it declares, I love you forever. 
with all my heart. Lord, I love you forever. Forever you are my king. Amen. Amen. Love you again. Anybody love Jesus? Somebody help me sing this song. I love you. I love you. Lord, somebody sing it to the Lord. Lord, I love you.
stuff in me. I can't help but cry. Hallelujah. Hey, God, I'm So this is you offended by my worship, I love you anyway. But forever, listen, this is personal. Forever, he's my king. Hallelujah. He's my king. And I don't apologize for my worship before him. He's my king. Hallelujah. 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 He's my king. Somebody said so many people down here. I'm here to tell you, I can't live without him. That's why I love him so much. Oh, yeah. He's my
John 12, beginning with verse 1, then, six, then Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead, there they made him a supper, and Martha served, but Lazarus was one of them that sat at the table with him. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly. Let me read that again, for this is our theme. Then took Mary a pound of ointment of spikenard, very costly, and anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. Then saith one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, which should betray him, why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor? This he said, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the bag and bare what was put therein. Then said Jesus, let her alone. Against the day of my burying has she kept this. Moving down to verse number four, 13. Took branches of palm trees. Matter of fact, I better include verse number 12 just for continuity's sake. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast. On the next day, much people that were come to the feast. When they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, took branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Skipping to verse 16, these things understood not his disciples at the first but when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him, that they had done these things unto him. Uh -huh. Skipping down to verse number 19. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Pharisees, they argue, upset with one another. They said among themselves, perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. Mm. And then let's move down to verse number 24. And include verse 27. Jesus says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Verse 27, Jesus declared, Now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause came I unto this hour. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' wonderful name. Surrounded by your grace. Found a place of peace. And God, I don't want to leave. That's a place of prayer and intimacy with you. That I can tell you all about my struggles. For the songwriter declared, Jesus knows all about your struggles and he will guide till the day is done there's not a friend minister fisher get ready to pick that up evangelist night help him out like the lowly jesus no not one no not one have your way father speak help us and encourage our hearts 
in Jesus' wonderful name, we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. Help us to hide your word in our heart that we might not sin against you. Lead Jesus. Pray. Come on, somebody say amen. No. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. No, not, not one. one. No. No, not one. Not one. No, no. There's not an hour, not an hour. that he is not with us. No, not one, no, no, not one, Jesus, he knows all about our struggle, he will guide us till the day is done. Jesus. Come on, somebody declare, no, not one. No, not one. No. Thank you, Vanessa. Not one. Now let's come on and give the Lord a hand praise in his house. I've got, got to move as expeditiously as possible. I want to let you all know I feel Jesus. I feel Jesus in this place. And my soul burns within me. I feel Jesus in this place. It's absolutely amazing what has transpired as we begin to read this scriptural account, Gospel according to John. And many times we look at it as Passion Week, the time as we are involved in now, just historically. Amen. Remembering our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I love it because, again, we make special emphasis this time of year to remember Jesus and the great sacrifice he made for us on Calvary's cross. Someone say amen. amen. And from the time of Palm Sunday to Resurrection Sunday, of course, as we just said, is considered across the uh, world for those who are Christians as Passion Week. Again, we give God the praise, the glory, the honor. And as we begin to read the scripture that is laid out before us, Bible lets us know that six days before the Passover, and, and many of you who are Bible students, you gotta you gotta understand the significance and the importance of the Passover as found, you'll see it, its origin found in the book of Exodus, chapter number twelve, when the Lord begins to give instruction to Moses and give instruction to Aaron concerning the people of God, and he declares unto them this night. Uh, God's going to set you all free from Egyptian bondage. And he said, you're going to kill, I'm my paraphrasing so I can get through it as quickly as possible. You're going to kill the lamb of lamb first. Listen, the first lean of the flock has got to be pure. It's got to be untainted. It's going to be considered holy unto the Lord. And each house is to kill a lamb, amen. You're going to take the uh, blood and place it upon the post of the door and above the lintel. And when he said, I'm going to come through tonight, I'm coming through Egypt. I've already shown all my wonders and all my signs and all my miracles. I've shown my might, but now with one last stretched out hand, I'm going to bring you out. Somebody give God a praise. Oh, Lord have mercy. Significant. Look at the wisdom of God, the mind of God. Uh, though ain't nobody greater than our God. Uh, he begins back in Exodus to prepare us for this time Lord have mercy and he said now behold the lamb the precious lamb of God born into sin that we might live again the precious lamb of God uh, Lord Jesus Lady Sean was singing that song I feel like hearing her sing it right now I ain't gonna mess with it in Jesus name she looking at me no I'm not, I don't have time amen in Jesus wonderful name but he is the precious lamb of God somebody ought to give him a praise I think I gotta kind of stay at this level because that's all the strength I got in Jesus name 
So we began looking at what is transpiring here. That's the reason why, Lord Jesus, we are uh, Christians and named by his name. For there is no other name given among men under heaven, Lord Jesus, whereby we must be saved. Don't you let nobody fool you. There is no power in any other name. I don't care what uh, religion they may uh, profess to have or be a part of. But if you want power, you got to have the name of the Lord Jesus Christ upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Why, Pastor Grant? I'm just going to hit just one small part of it because the spirit realm works on authority. And there is authority given in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, I can go toe to toe with you if you want me to. And I don't care whether you are a doctorate of whatever in the name of the Lord Jesus. You can't tell me about the name of Jesus and convince me otherwise uh, because in that name I've been baptized uh, and I've been filled with the power of the Holy Ghost uh, it was that name that resurrected me from a dead state to a living state uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, it was that name that turned my whole mind around uh, that changed my appetites and my desires uh, oh Lord Jesus took my old tattered garments uh, and gave me a robe of pure white uh, uh, right now I'm feasting on man of from heaven. Uh, that's because of the name of the Lord. It's a strong tower. Righteous runneth into it and they're safe. Uh, oh Lord Jesus. Uh, I don't care whether I feel weak in my body or not. Uh, somebody just called on the name of the Lord. Uh, you'll get power. You'll get strength. Uh, you'll get help. When you call. Woo Lord Jesus. When you call somebody on the try. Uh, my people you know what I'm talking about because uh, sometimes you're going through even in your mind uh, when things are coming up against you and you don't know which way to turn uh, come on mother bud talk to me uh, there's times that you know you've been in a time of sickness uh, Lord Jesus and the Lord brought you out uh, and all we can do sometimes is just call Jesus uh, oh you haven't been there yet but wait till you get there uh, where you got no other help but the name of the Lord uh, and all you can do is call on that name uh, and stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Somebody clap your hands. I can't even go there. Jesus. Let me stop. It's the name Jesus. Pastor, why are you talking about that name? Humbled himself. He became obedient unto death. That's the reason why every demon and every devil in hell don't want you to use that name. Because they know that they're all subject. Things in heaven, things in earth, and things under the earth. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. Jesus is Lord. Guess what them demons and devils going to confess? He's Lord. Huh? I, I fight against them right now. They literally curse the name of Jesus. But they're going to confess this is Lord. Uh, come on. Uh, when they're in the lake of fire, they're going to understand the reality. Oh, uh, Lord Jesus trying to fool you and make you think uh, uh, the other way is better. Uh-uh. Ain't nothing in this world can compare, Lord Jesus, to what God has prepared for the people of God that love him. So don't you let anything fool you to cause you to lose your soul. Uh, there's nothing more precious in the blood of Jesus. Let me get to the word that was all just flowing in the name of the Lord Jesus. So watch Passion Week. Much confusion is going on. And the worst confusion is among his people, his apostles, his disciples. Everybody's confused trying to understand what is going here. They're trying to grasp because they have a perspective of Jesus in a totally different manner. They missed it. I forgot to tell you, Lord Jesus, the title of the message, The Triumphant Entry. Don't miss it again. The Triumphant Entry. Don't miss it again. And guess what? We go through this every year, and guess what? Every year we miss it. We think it's about Hosanna and coming in on, uh-uh. 
the apostles, they all missed it. They misunderstood because their thought process was not correct concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. Didn't come to set up an earthly kingdom. He didn't come to tear down the Roman Empire. Uh, his call and his ministry was much higher than that. It was not earthly, but it was heavenly, what he was about to accomplish for us. So let's get to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, listen, you must understand what has happened as I started to allude in Exodus when God informed uh, Israel what they must do through the mouth of Moses and that every year, God said, this will be again a festival or a celebration that you must partake of every year because I'm going to bring you out of the house of bondage and with a strong hand, uh, by the blood of the lambs, I'm going to bring you out. But those lambs spoke to the ultimate lamb of God that came to take away the sin of the world. Blood had to be shed. So when they thank God for the blood, and when they shed the blood, as we've already stated, they placed it upon the lintel and the doorpost, and the, and the song is right. We don't have to slay a lamb anymore. We don't have to place any more blood on the door. Somebody's taking the place of the lamb. It is Jesus the great I am. For he is the great I am. He's the everlasting father. He's the prince of peace. He's a great eternal one. The holy counselor. He's Zion's righteous king. Somebody declare he's the great. He's the great I am. And God had already established the principle. He said forever I want you all to remember this. He said listen this is an ordinance. Go ahead. You can turn to Exodus Let's read it another time, chapter number 12. He established as an ordinance forever uh, that you all are to have this festival and to remember that I brought you out. Ah, uh, uh, Lord Jesus. He said, I want to put the blood upon the post and upon the lintel. And when I see the blood, uh, I'm going to pass over you. Woo, somebody ought to give God a praise uh, because you realize it. Come on, that's right. Uh, go ahead and praise the minister best because many of us realize uh, it was the blood of Jesus has been applied to our lives uh, not because we've been Mr. Goody Two Shoes or Miss Goody Two Shoes. Uh, matter of fact if it hadn't been for the blood many of us would be lifting up our eyes in hell right now. Uh, it was the blood that covered us. Uh, it was the blood that forgave us uh, after God's been so good to us uh, we turned around and got a new name uh, Lord have mercy and got a new idea uh, and got a new thought uh, and we thought about walking away from God. Uh, and God said, I love you forever. Uh, God said, I'm not that kind of God uh, that'll give up on you. Uh, even though I've been merciful and kind, uh, been gracious and loving, uh, and you turn your back on me. Uh, he said, I'm married to the backslider. Uh, somebody ought to celebrate God. Uh, anybody ever been there? Uh, that God's been so gracious, so kind, uh, and yet you find yourself uh, with the proclivity to go back to sin, uh, going back to your own way. Uh, and God said, I got enough blood and I got enough grace to cover you throughout all eternity that's the reason why you ought to give him a praise because if the devil would have had it his way you would have died in your sin thank God for the blood So let's take a quick look as we prepare to close. The, the entire uh, understanding of the nation of Israel over the Messiah was faulty. They thought he was coming to set up a political earthly kingdom. Even those who were intimate with him didn't fully understand what he was coming to do. The parents of James and John said, listen, I got that right, right? I don't have my notes before me. Amen, thank you. Amen. They said, come on. Uh, they asked the Lord, can one of them be on your left hand and when you come into your kingdom, the other on the right? And he said, listen. He said, can you be baptized yes. with the baptism that I'm baptized with? And can you drink of the cup? that I drink of. 
huh? Lord, he looked at them and he actually spoke prophetically. Yeah, you are going to be baptized with the baptism that I'm baptized with. And you will drink of the cup that I got to drink of. But to have you sit on my left and on my right is not mine to give. It's given to my father, which is in heaven. Uh, uh, There's another message coming powerfully about Jesus. And that's a part of it itself. Uh, uh, Jesus being God in the flesh, he humbled himself so significantly uh, he always listened to him in his earthly ministry always referring back to his father it's, my, it's not for me to give even though he's God he says nah 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 I got a different role I'm operating in right now I'm operating in sonship uh, Lord have mercy and in order to be a son I've got to be obedient I can't do what I want to do uh, Lord Jesus I got to do what I hear my father says to do uh, that's the reason why Christianity is so messed up today why? Because we name ourselves and we call ourselves Christians, but yeah, we do what we want to do. Whew, Lord, I'm getting ready to get there, Lord Jesus. Uh, and, and we miss the concept. Uh, uh, and that's how the first century church, uh, Lord Jesus, let me stop because that's after, that's, this is prior to them receiving the Holy Ghost. Uh, but the Holy Ghost did a job on these brothers. Uh, Lord, have mercy because these brothers were all self centered. Uh, uh, Lord, Jesus, even one of them was a thief. Uh, and a uh, liar and a betrayer Lord Jesus he kept the bag uh, he didn't care about nobody else but how much money was in the bag uh, they all had different faults uh, and idiosyncrasies that the Holy Spirit had to work on uh, uh, Peter was a cusser in the name of the Lord Jesus and he also lied uh, uh, yeah that's right uh, and that's the reason why you gotta realize uh, that you nothing but flesh uh, that's all we are uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, without the Holy Ghost uh, you need to come off of your high horse uh, stop thinking that you're so grand and wonderful uh, and you need to bring your mindset down you gotta humble yourself uh, under the mighty hand of God uh, uh, you ain't all that in a bag of chips I know you've been saved for some time uh, but there's some stuff that God's still trying to get out of you uh, trying to work out of you uh, come on I thank God you've been saved all week long uh, but come on you gotta deal with God uh, when you begin to talk about God uh, he is the ancient of days uh, he is the everlasting father he is the prince of peace uh, if you ever get a glimpse of him uh, Isaiah will tell you woe is me uh, for I am undone uh, for my eyes have seen Lord have mercy uh, that's the problem with Christianity today we don't pray long enough uh, in order for us to get a glimpse of him uh, you gotta get a good look at Jesus uh, you gotta spend enough time in his presence uh, you can read realize uh, he's not like me uh, as high as the heavens are above the earth uh, so far as his ways above my ways uh, I thank God for my time of consecration uh, and thank God for the time of prayer uh, thank God for a little unction from the Holy Spirit uh, and every once in a while speaking in tongues uh, but every time I come off of that high uh, I realize I just had an encounter with Jesus uh, and he's not like me uh, uh, he's far above uh, who I am uh, and I've got to ascend uh, oh my God uh, in order to be like God uh, that means I got to humble myself uh, and I ain't got time to talk about nobody uh, I got to pray for myself Lord work on me uh, Lord I need you uh, to work on me uh, if I'm going to make my destiny uh, if I'm going to be what you called me to be uh, I got to work on my mind uh, work on my heart uh, work on my soul I need you to take full control. I need a Holy Ghost invasion. I need you to transform me, God. Because without you, I'm lost. Somebody know what I'm talking about and know what it means to pray. God, I need you to do a job on me. Come on, you're the refiner. You're the refiner's fire. Change me, God. Purify me. Cleanse me. Heal me. Deliver me, Lord. Uh, Hosanna save us now somebody give him a praise Hosanna they don't know what the real meaning of Hosanna is they don't understand the true meaning of Hosanna save now Lord you gotta save us save us now uh, I'm not talking about saving us from Roman oppression, from some governmental oppression. 
I'm not talking about saving us from Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Lord Jesus, the evil that's going on in Haiti and Putin and Russia. Come on, somebody, in Jesus' name. Uh, dictators, all, their, all these evil governments around the world and people are being oppressed. Uh, we're not talking about that. We're talking about something that is spiritual. Let me get to it. So here it is. They fail to see. As it's listed here, false concepts of Christ, the Messiah. They saw him as what in their mind to be a conqueror. As the one who is to straighten out the problems of this earth by overcoming all the enemies of mankind including evil men, hunger, disease, and poverty. And the reason why they began to look at him in this man, because nobody was able to do what Jesus was able to do. The things he was able to accomplish in his earthly ministry literally blew their minds. And they said, yes, this is the Messiah. He's got the power to do what no man can do. The apostles being so intimately involved with him saw him on a ship in the midst of a storm and he's in the hinder part of the ship asleep and they're rowing and battling for their lives and somebody said wait a minute where's Jesus my paraphrase he said he's asleep in the hinder part of the ship and the ship is about to sink he's on a pillow the hinder part of the ship that means that pillow gotta be floating on water if the ship's about to sink, but Jesus, master of the sea, wakes up out of his sleep and declares to the earth, to the elements, peace, be still. I got to go sit in my chair on that one. Lord, you, what? not because I need to, but I, I'm just trying to process this. I'm blessing myself right now. Peace, be still. Huh? The apostles are trying to process what their minds and their ears have just saw and heard. They said, listen, what manner of man is this that even the winds and the waves obey his will? We're talking about Jesus. And they're now learning and getting an understanding of who he is, that he is in control. But they still haven't processed it yet, but they're learning. And in order for you to know something about God, you've got to go through. Huh? It's going to be some storms we got to go through. Huh? It's going to be some turbulent times that we have to experience. But in order to have power with God and to understand him, uh, you're not going to get this by you just sitting there uh, receiving what somebody else has received because they've been through and you ain't been through nothing. It don't work like that in the kingdom of God. In order for you to receive the power that God has for you, you're going to have to go through. You're going to have to know him for yourself. Somebody say amen. You're going to have to pray and call on his name and watch him come through for you. And you're going to say, listen, I thank God he's a prayer answering God. And get, but guess what? Not because my mom told me he's a prayer answering God. I know he's a prayer answering God because I prayed in Jesus name and by faith the answer came. So now this is my praise to him. Hallelujah. He's an answering God. Somebody give him a praise real quick. All right, I'm going to move quickly now because I don't. I'm, uh, I'm going to d diminish, Amen. Uh, by, uh, but with the help of the Lord, we got to continue on. They thought conqueror. They, they wanted him to set it up on, in the earthly realm. Uh, provider, you saw him feed five thousand. Uh, you saw him do all the wonderful things that he did. Uh, they they were looking at him. This man surely can feed all of us, Lord Jesus, uh, with two little fish and five loaves of bread. Uh, they said they made a song. They took a song and made a song about that. Oh, 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 what a great God. Great God. Great God Almighty. 
mighty, my evangelist Cujo, who sung that? Uh, where that Carl Bright? Did he make that song? Uh, or, or somebody else? There were two little fishes, five loaves of bread, 5,000 souls he fed. And for all our sins, he was crucified. And he never said a word. He just hung his head and died. I'm going way back uh, to Zion Epistolic Temple days uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, oh, what a great God. Uh, what a great God. Uh, hallelujah. And they saw his ability. Uh, and they said, surely he can meet our needs. Uh, he can feed us when we're hungry. Uh, he can provide for us if we need money. Uh, he can call money out of a fish's mouth uh, to pay taxes. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus, we can go to the mailbox. Uh, and we got a tax debt. Open up the mailbox. All the money we need is right there. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, they missed him. Uh, we are missing him uh, because we relate to earthly things concerning Christ uh, and that's uh, in our minds thinking uh, that that's the reason why uh, he came to help us uh, uh, he can do all that stuff too uh, but that's not the purpose why he came uh, somebody say amen uh, so guess what uh, they thought he was the indulgent Jesus also uh, they thought he was a passive lord uh, uh, as one who accepts man no matter what what man does uh, just so he is somewhat religious uh, as one who allows man to live uh, as he desires oh Lord Jesus uh, doing his own thing uh, uh, they think the Lord is passive uh, thinking he allows us to do what we want to do uh, and to live the way we want to live oh Lord Jesus uh, these are the false concepts uh, about our Messiah uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, uh, we got folk out there now they and turned church into nightclubs. Y'all already know it. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, and lost their minds uh, in the name uh, because they think the Lord is passive. Uh, that God will allow us uh, to do what we want to do and how we want to do it. Uh, and that God does not have protocol uh, and standards in order. Uh, and that God doesn't require things. Uh, this is the false concept uh, of Jesus, our God, uh, and our great King, uh, and our Messiah. Messiah, uh, uh, allow man to do as he desires, uh, doing his own thing despite the sin uh, and injustices and immorality of his behavior. Uh, oh, Lord Jesus, I watch TBN, they make Donald Trump as if he a Christian. Uh, I said, oh, my Lord, uh, you all embrace this man uh, and this manner because uh, he's a Republican, uh, uh, the Republican Party, and uh, you try to mix the Republican Party uh, with Christianity, you done lost your mind. Uh, you got to realize Christianity is not political. Uh, uh, God said, follow peace with all men uh, and holiness without which uh, no man shall see the Lord. Uh, they don't see it for the truth of what it is. Uh, this is a false concept. Uh, a man, uh, oh Lord Jesus, who is a bigot and a racist, uh, uh, who is a thief, uh, Lord Jesus, uh, uh, my God, uh, an insurrectionist. Uh, uh, and they want him to be president. That's how, that's how we are. Uh, that's how fallen man is. Uh, uh, we'll crucify Jesus uh, and say, give us Barabbas. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, we want the worst to lead us. Uh, uh, we'll accept anything to govern over us. Uh, don't even treat his wife right. Uh, uh, and had, I, don't know many on, uh, I don't know how many on the side. Uh, and then pay Stormy Daniels and all. Uh, that's right. Uh, and we'll sit up there and say, oh yeah, uh, Trump for president. Uh, I ain't voting for nobody. Uh, uh, come on. And uh, uh, don't worry about who I'm voting for. Uh, in the name, the Holy Ghost got to lead me. Uh, I need an independent because I can't go with the Democrats either. Uh, uh, homosexuality, lesbianism, uh, I don't go with that. Uh, somebody come on in Jesus' name. Uh, Republican Party can stand for some of those things. Uh, uh, you got to choose the lesser of two evils because uh, it's all evil. Uh, you got to find somebody that'll stand for Christ uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, and I'm not pushing any political agenda over the pulpit. Uh, oh Lord, the Lord convict your conscience. Uh, you look for righteousness. Uh, for the word of God says righteousness exalteth a nation. Uh, but sin is a reproach uh, to any people. Uh, what's wrong with America? Uh, why we got students getting shot, getting on the bus, uh, trying just to get home from school? Uh, our nation is in uh, upheaval. Uh, our streets are filled with violence. Uh, one child dies one week and a group other gets shot the next week. Uh, blood touches blood uh, and the church is passive uh, just sitting here like everything's all right uh, somebody say help us Lord. let me
me stop. I'm not meaning to get there yet. Uh, the false understandings. Uh, because we think God just accepting anything from the church. Uh, it's the false understanding of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, we don't understand uh, that he's a God that demands. Uh, he's a demanding God uh, he's a holy God uh, he demands uh, let me just get to it so I can close uh, I gotta get these points out uh, we fail to see the demands of Christ uh, he demands uh, his demand for us to serve uh, we gotta serve uh, we just can't be thinking about ourselves uh, but we gotta serve uh, by reaching out to a world uh, that is lost uh, don't y'all see it the world's lost come on church uh, oh my god uh, uh, it's all over the news uh, everywhere you turn uh, oh lord jesus uh, i watched one episode my wife came into the room uh, i didn't mean to watch it but i just happened to be on 2020 that was 2020 right uh, and the little boy uh, oh lord jesus remember the little boy and the little girl uh, uh, being uh, brutalized uh, uh, i ain't going into details uh, but that's just one of many across this nation uh, our children uh, and Lord have mercy my heart's broken uh, oh my God what about the children uh, oh y'all gotta remember when we were children uh, that's the reason why these little ones mean so much to me uh, uh, one of my favorite coming up right now uh, oh Lord Jesus uh, and not just my little girl uh, it's not just that one uh, but all of them they're all my favorite uh, uh, any of them can get anything out of me that they want they don't even realize they got that power I ain't gonna say it too loud uh, in the name of the Lord I'll be broke uh, let me be quiet in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, uh, they All they got to do is just ask. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, Lord have mercy. Let me be quiet. Uh, in Jesus name. Uh, uh, my heart's sensitive. Because uh, these little ones. Uh, somebody's got to be watching out for them. And praying over them. Uh, and being concerned. Uh, about the children. Uh, Lord Jesus. Uh, they're being abused. Uh, they're being mistreated. Uh, they're being sexually molested. Uh, uh, they're being treated wrongly. Among their people. Years. Uh, oh Lord Jesus uh, they gotta go to school and deal with peer pressure uh, not like uh, we had to deal with uh, uh, my, one of my granddaughters uh, had to deal with a young lady coming up to her because uh, her friends came up to uh, one of her classmates one of her peers uh, and wanted to let her know oh I like you uh, and then they, uh, 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 we gotta plead the blood uh, 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 come on come on church Lord I got to work uh, I got to work help me Holy Ghost uh, uh, because we're asleep at the wheel. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, gee, we're asleep at the wheel. Uh, these little ones are facing stuff we never face. Uh, uh, oh, my God, Minister Frazier, uh, I never had, oh, Lord, that's right, I'm going to just say, Minister Frazier, I never had anybody. Uh, oh, Lord, Jesus, when I was in school, uh, uh, six and seven, eight years old, uh, I never had another little boy come up to me and say, oh, I like you. Uh, 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 it was foreign to us in that day. Uh, Y'all know what I'm talking about, uh, but our sons and our daughters uh, have got to fight with the spirit of this age uh, come on uh, uh, come on church uh, you all have forgotten uh, we all have forgotten uh, that we have been filled with the power of the Holy Spirit uh, he said behold uh, I give unto you power uh, to tread upon serpents and scorpions uh, and over all the power of the enemy uh, where are the praying grandmothers uh, where are the praying mothers in the church uh, that ain't talking about nobody uh, but praying for somebody's grandchildren uh, come on uh, thank you evangelist Fisher uh, these young ladies got baptized today three of them I heard uh, and then they, oh somebody come on and celebrate uh, there was a time uh, where we couldn't stop celebrating when somebody went down in Jesus name uh, oh but we've changed y'all uh, oh the songwriter said we've changed uh, oh my god uh, we no longer uh, fear God like we used to fear uh, uh, we don't seek God's face uh, like we used to see uh, before we wanted power with God uh, we didn't want a new car uh, we didn't want a new position on the job uh, we didn't want a new house uh, we wanted more of God uh, but today uh, everything else comes before God uh, and we are bankrupt uh, and we need help uh, and we need to cry Hosanna save us now somebody say help us Lord Let me hurry up, Lord Jesus. 
because let me get I got the clues. Uh, uh, false concepts of the Lord. Uh, he demands, he demands us to serve. Uh, reaching out to a world that is lost. The world is lost, saints. Uh, and really, uh, I got work to do. I said, Lord, I got to get back. There's work to do. Prayer's got to go forth. We've got to lead God. I can't. Uh, I got to work. I got to work. We got to work while it is day night's coming and no man can work gotta encourage the hearts of the saints uh, Lord Jesus that those who are in prayer uh, that they're not in prayer by themselves in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, do you miss the house of God do you miss the altar of God uh, do you miss the prayer altar uh, or you can take it or leave it in this day and time uh, whew, uh, this world is reeling uh, the needs in this world are so desperate uh, that the thoughtful mind uh, that oh, it's the needs are so desperate uh, that the thoughtful mind uh, staggers uh, at the reality of all the needs. Uh, that's the reason why I love when Elder Wilkins is praying. Uh, I love when the Holy Spirit take over him. Uh, and he just begin to cry out for folks in Kensington. Uh, he cries out, uh, oh my God, uh, seemingly with everything he got on the inside. Uh, uh, praying for God to deliver uh, those on drugs. Uh, uh, to take the taste of alcohol uh, out of their mouth. Uh, uh, God, uh, to take the needle out of their arms. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, or are we just happy because we're saved uh, that we don't have an alcohol problem uh, that we don't have uh, a heroin addiction uh, that we don't have a coke problem uh, uh, are we just content uh, that we have been delivered by God uh, and we're happy that we uh, don't have those issues that the world have to deal with uh, oh my God uh, we talk a good game uh, but somebody said talk is cheap uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus matter of fact uh, I'll give you the testimony of Hannah. Hannah said God is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. We talk about how much we love God. But God said if you love me feed my sheep. Come on in the name of the Lord Jesus. There are people that need to be delivered and need to be saved and need to be set free. And they need your testimony. They need you to tell them about the love of Christ. Some of y'all get ready. Come on, Sister Dorothy. That's right. Uh, after all that God has done for you, uh, taking you off of drugs, taking you out of the street, uh, and God proved himself to you. Uh, oh, Lord, I just enjoy your testimony when you called me, uh, and I had to encourage you. Uh, oh, my God, you didn't even think you were worthy to get the job. Uh, oh, my God, because of uh, how the devil fought against you, uh, because of all that you were, uh, as such were some of you. Uh, but guess what God did? Uh, God showed you his power. God said, come on, she's approved. God said, I'm going to give you the credentials that you need. And guess what? Go ahead and shout. Somebody help her praise the Lord. Just last week, the week prior, oh my God, her clearances came through. And she was able to give God the praise, something she didn't think she could do. God said, just watch what I can do. I'll take you off the street. I'll take you out of the prison house. I'll take you out of the bar. And God said, I'll make something the kind of God I'm talking about uh, that's my Jesus uh, oh, I got to go y'all uh, help us Lord Jesus uh, oh my God uh, oh, Lord Jesus this world is staggering uh, staggering uh, and if we think uh, about what the world is going through. Uh, we would stagger under the weight of it. Uh, I'm sitting here blown away. I said, God, uh, oh my God, how can we reach them? Uh, you see the condition of this world, the evil that's in this world. Uh, and then he said, listen, uh, he told me with man it is impossible. Uh, he said, see, you see, you don't, you got to stop me. He already said, I already know. Uh, he said, but I'm going to show you again. Because uh, with man it is impossible. Uh, but with God, all things. Uh, so Christ even get ready. Uh, uh, a thousand ain't gonna hold us, y'all. Uh, come on. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands uh, that need to be delivered. Uh, and we're not just trying. Uh, uh, God didn't give us all these seats just for the sake of giving us seats. Uh, y'all got to get ready. Uh, they're coming in by the bus loads. Uh, come on in Jesus' name. Uh, come on. They ain't just coming in to just make up a number. Uh, folk got to get delivered by the power. That's right, Mom Thomas. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Y'all get ready. 
of you prayer warriors, uh, get ready. Uh, there's some devils to put to flight. Uh, there's some demons to cast out of people. Uh, there's some people to get delivered and to get saved. Uh, that's right. Uh, come on, Sister Tanya. The uh, ministry that God got for you uh, that you're working on right now. Uh, come on. Uh, people got to get healed. Uh, they got to get delivered. Uh, and God said, come on. Uh, the harvest is plenteous. Uh, the laborers are few. Uh, come on, pray to the Lord of the harvest. Uh, God sent forth the laborers. Uh, somebody celebrate you. Fails, false concepts. I gotta get ready to close. These false concepts, they fail to see that keep demands. This this is a big point. I gotta deal with this in a couple of weeks because it falls into the next message that's coming up in two weeks. It, it fails to see that he demands, Christ demands. He demands from each one of us that name the name of Christ. He demands self-denial. I'm going to let that sink in. Because he's going to help us with this. He demands. He demands self-denial. A denial that demands the giving of all one is and has to meet the needs of the world. That's why many of us aren't millionaires now. Because we'd be off on our yacht somewhere on Sunday morning. Instead of taking our resources and pouring it into the kingdom so that souls can be saved. I mean, I gotta, I gotta bring it to a conclusion. He, we fail to see the spiritual concern of Christ. That's what they, they were looking at the natural. And they failed the apostles, the disciples. The spiritual concern also. His concern, he, he was not concerned about bringing peace to the nation of Israel against their enemies. We always talk about Rome, but any enemy that they would have uh-uh. He's bringing peace between man and God. I got to say it so you don't miss it. He wasn't looking to bring national peace. He was looking to bring a spiritual reconciliation between God and man. That's why he is the Messiah, the Christ. And they missed it, Lord Jesus. Uh, they missed the triumphant entry. The entry had nothing to do with setting up rule in the earth. It had everything to do with establishing a spiritual order for us to be restored back. Ooh, Lord, the whinings picked it up and they said restoration has finally come. I've been restored back to my place in God. Rest of, it kind of reminds me of the prodigal son after his right is living and all the evil he had done yet when he returned his father received him home oh lord kill the fatted calf put him on a robe oh my god and gave him that's right gave him a ring thank you lady short and gave him something he never ever had restoration has finally come this is what Jesus came to do. But the apostles and the people of that day and time thought of their, their, their kingdom, their nation, and they thought of their rule in the earth, and that was not his purpose. Let me conclude with what we have here. So watch this. Many of them missed it, but there was one who had insight. Watch, because in the scripture we just read in John, as we be prepared to close, there's something special about saints that really love the Lord. 
there's, there's something special about saints that really love the Lord. There's something special because when you, when you are head over heels in love with Jesus, he'll give you an insight that even the chief leaders miss. And the Bible says six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus, which had been dead, whom he raised from the dead. They had so much. Just, it, was a, it was such a time where it was out of control. What would the Lord just raised a man earlier by the name of Lazarus from the dead? I'm talking about dead, dead. And made sure he was good and dead. Because he waited four days before he even showed up. And even those who love Jesus, they had some words for him. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. Mary even came out. That was Martha at first. Mary even came out. They love Jesus. But there's situations that can occur that would make us bitter because we don't understand. We know you got the to do it and if you were here you could have did it for him but what happened where were you but Mary also said but even now that whatsoever you ask he, you can, he can do he'll do, ask the father he'll do it Let me. I don't want to get there yet and they witnessed Jesus because Martha said, Lord, by this time, he stinketh. Huh? Lord Jesus, I want y'all, I'm, I'm taking my time, I'm taking my time because I physically have to, but I need you to process this anyway. By this time, it is beyond our comprehension of what you can do even in this situation. We saw you do all these other wonderful miracles, but we ain't never seen this. And they already have rolled a stone and sealed it. That means it is done. And in the realm of human expectation, it is over. The stone is in front of his tomb. And Jesus got a nerve to say, where have you laid him? Show me where you laid him. They said, wait a minute, Lord, you taking leave of your senses. He said, I need y'all to roll away the stone. Guess what? Jesus ain't even needing to roll away the stone, but he wanted them to roll away the stone. And he begins to pray to the Father. And he just calls out and declares, Lazarus, come forth. I wish I had a church in here that would give God a praise. They process this and they now see that there's nothing that he can't do. Lord have mercy. And guess what now? Watch this. This is now six days. They don't even understand what the meaning of this is. Six days before the Passover. They don't realize this is his final week. They don't know. He knows. They don't know. This is six days before the Passover. He's got to be taken off of the cross before the Passover begins. So you know what? If you can, if we do our right calculations, he got about five days left. That everything's got to be completed because this was six days before the Passover and they had to beg for his body because of course they had to make sure they didn't touch anything that was dead before the Passover started. Come on, saints, y'all, well, you students of the Bible, come on and read. Uh, right, watch. So they made... They don't know what they're doing. He knows all things. They made him a supper. They don't know. Martha is now serving as she normally does. Lazarus is there. Whew. One of them that sat as one that sat at the table. And now Mary is so overwhelmed. Mary is now processing things. She said, hey, wait a minute. Jesus is here. Lazarus is here at the table. And he 
she's partaking. And she says, I, I love the way the writer says it here. I got to do it. <laughs> Lord have mercy because Jesus has some things to say that they weren't even grasping. The, the apostles, the, 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 well, they're the disciples at the time. The apostles weren't grabbing it, but grasping it. But let me just read certain things because they didn't understand. And the Holy Spirit had to, uh, Lord Jesus, work. Uh, I'm going to move down to verse number 24. This is actually taking you a little further. Verily, verily, I say unto you, well, Lord, they're not processing what he's saying. Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die. It abideth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. This is giving us some insight because there is a disposition that Jesus is portraying while he is there. Lord have mercy because he knows what's about to transpire in a few days. He even says in verse number 27, now is my soul troubled. And what shall I say, Father? Uh, verse 27, save me from this hour. Uh, before this cause came I in uh, to, to for this cause came I unto this hour. Uh, oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, so there is something. Now follow me. I don't want you to lose me here. Uh, uh, Mary uh, is making, is processing uh, the posture of the Lord uh, at this dinner. Uh, uh, Lord Jesus. He hadn't said anything to anybody, uh, but he ain't the same Jesus uh, as he normally is. Uh, there's a little bit more that's on his mind uh, at the beginning of this week. Oh, follow me, church. Uh, you got to follow me in order for you to get this. Uh, uh, Lord, Mary sensed something within Jesus. Uh, uh, she sensed something, a foreboding, uh, a preoccupation of his mind. A heaviness of his heart, a weight of tremendous pressure that Jesus is under. She looks into his eyes and she sees the loving Jesus. He's still the same loving Jesus, but there's something else there too. Ooh, something else going on because any of you ever go through something, you try to hide it from everybody else. But people that know you see that, uh uh, you. You, you ain't something's not quite right uh, I see you got something on your mind something on your heart what's troubling you uh, and they can't share it with you because they're going through something uh, and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is processing uh, he is God in the flesh 100% God uh, and 100% man uh, and our Lord Jesus and you all know he didn't get the Gethsemane yet uh, but Lord he had to set his face as flint. Uh, he had to make sure that he was ready uh, uh, by the help of the Lord, the strengthening of the angels of God uh, and the work of the Holy Ghost. Uh, and he's dealing with something at this time. This is way before we even get to Gethsemane. They're just dealing with this little meal here uh, over in Bethany. Uh, Lord Jesus. So guess what? Uh, I love what the writer said. Uh, Mary said, I got to do something uh, uh, because I love him. Uh, he Look what he's done. He's healed my family. Uh, he raised my brother from the dead. Uh, he's my savior. He's my healer, my deliverer. Uh, oh, we've seen him work so many wonderful things. Uh, and what can I do? do uh, to lift his spirits. Oh my God. God bless you Mary. Uh, uh, her heart reached out to him uh, and wanted to encourage and help him. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, are we ever concerned about what's on the heart of God? Uh, or are we all just wrapped up in ourselves? Uh, I was talking to him this morning talking to him this morning uh, oh my God uh, and I said God what's on your heart uh, oh God break our hearts for the thing that breaks your heart uh, we are so insensitive uh, we think about ourselves and what we're going through uh, in the midst of pain in the midst of what we're dealing with uh, Lord have mercy uh, have you ever took the time uh, to check on God Lord have mercy uh, oh Lord uh, it ain't as if we can check on him, no. Uh, but having the condition of heart, uh, the posture of the heart uh, that is like David's heart, uh, having a heart after God, a desire uh, to please God. 
uh, all that I have? Uh, what can I give? Uh, how can I touch God? Uh, how can I bless God? Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, so Mary has found herself in this place, a unique place. Uh, why? Because she's a woman that's head over heel in love with Jesus. Uh, and that's what God's looking for. Uh, he found someone that was able uh, to uh, live out the command of God. Uh, Hear, O Israel, uh, the Lord our God is one. Uh, and you are to love him with all your heart. Uh, ooh, that just moved him. Uh, you are to love him with all your soul. Uh, you are to love him with all your strength. Uh, and love him with all your might. Uh, 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 whether he gives me another car, another house, I don't care. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, guess what? I'm going to say it right now. Uh, whether he, oh, I've already done this, so I don't want to say that. Uh, but if he don't heal my body, I'm still going to praise him. Uh, come on, it's already done. Uh, I'm just trying to show you all how committed I am to loving God. Uh, if I got to go through the pain of waking up every day uh, and not feeling the strength to get up to be able to do what I know needs to be done, uh, I've even committed. I said, Lord, uh, Ah, I can't wait till you restore. I got work to do for your glory. And once you restore uh, every ounce of strength I got, I'm going to show you how much I love you. Come on, somebody. I can't explain it to you because you ain't there. Oh, my God, you're not feeling the struggle. I'm struggling just to breathe, struggling just to stand. And I'm saying to God, come on, God, I got work to do as never before. I understand now what it means. Come on. In the name of the Lord. To work while it is day. Because a night can come in your life. Where you cannot work. No matter how hard you want to go at it. You don't have the strength to do it. Or the resources. It's been taken away from you. And you miss your strength. And now you long. Just for a day of strength uh, to be able to say God I got it now uh, just give me one more chance uh, oh like Samson said uh, oh God remember me uh, I pray thee just this one more uh, one more time God just remember me uh, come on somebody uh, and give me back my strength uh, but Samson said that I may be avenged uh, for my two eyes uh, I don't want my strength back so that I can be avenged uh, for anything that somebody's done to me uh, I want my strength back so I can serve you uh, until I die somebody praise God So Mary, I can't go there. Let me stop because I, I used to have my strength. I could do it. I can't go there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, listen what it said. Her heart reached out to him and wanted to encourage the Lord because there was something going on with Jesus at this time that she didn't understand and the apostles, the disciples didn't understand. They didn't know six days before Passover. All the lambs are about to be slain. And on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. They didn't realize. And they even walked later the road of Emmaus. And they said, are you a stranger here? In Israel and all the events that have happened when Jesus joined himself to them and, be, and began to reveal himself. How Jesus, they said, we thought that he was the answer or the hope of Israel. Oh Lord, two o'clock, I gotta stop. In the name of, so watch. She did what she could do. She took a pound of ointment like nard. Guess what the scripture said? Very costly. Uh -uh. Not no little half-hearted service. Uh, no, no. This is going to cost you something. Very costly. If you do the analysis from that day and time, it was equivalent to a year's wages. And guess what she did? 
the Bible says she anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment. They said Judas tried to criticize and Jesus had to step in and said let her alone because guess what? The apostles didn't even realize they weren't even going to have an opportunity to prepare his body for burial. Oh, Lord, I, I, I'm not going to even take the time to break all this down for you. This woman, six days prior to his crucifixion, she anoints his body for his burial. She scripture it says it very plainly that Jesus said let her alone against the day of my burying have she kept this she anoints at that time she didn't wait for him to be crucified because she didn't know when he's going to be crucified her heart was just so broken and just filled with love that as they're at dinner and she sees all that he has done and she reflected on how awesome he is. She said, I gotta get the best I got to pour my love out on Jesus. So she poured her praise out on Jesus. Lord have mercy at Mary's alabaster box. Y'all don't get angry. If I wipe his feet with my hair Come on, somebody, in the name. You weren't there the day he wrapped his loving arms around me. You didn't feel what I felt, what I felt when he rescued me from the gates of hell. And when we ask you to give God a praise, it ought to be a hilarious praise. It ought to be a celebratory praise. Let me close. I got to close. I got to stop. It's 2 o'clock and we got to release you because you got a, got a fellowship to be there at 3 o'clock for the dinner. So guess what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just divert all the other notes. And here it is. They get out there, and guess who is there? Now he's transitioned to where much people were gathered, gathered the next day on verse number nine of the Jews. Why? Because it was close to it was actually over two million people there. Two million have thrust their way into Jerusalem and the roundabout cities because they have to be there for the festival of Passover required. And while they are there, everybody hears because the fame of the story of Jesus has gone throughout the land. And guess who's there too? Lazarus. The man that this guy raised, this man, wait a minute, yeah, that Jesus. You know that one Jesus? They said Jesus is going to be here. And the people are hearing that Jesus. Oh, yeah, did you get a chance to see who he is? You, you, have you seen him yet? Yeah, let's try. They try to see who he is. And they prepared palm branches. They said, this is it. This is the one. This is our Messiah. You hear the power he operates in? He has the ability to overthrow from their perspective the Roman government. And to the perspective of the Pharisees, the Pharisees said, listen, verse 19, perceive ye how ye prevail. We can't prevail against this. The whole world is going after him. You gotta, get, you gotta put yourself in the place where they are all screaming Hosanna palm branches laying out before him because they are saying Lord save us now our expectation is for you to save us now from political oppression and from the evil rule of even religious leaders this is our king and we need you to save us now and they were serious because their expectation was for him to bring deliverance right then and there in the realm of the earth. And Jesus had to inform them, my kingdom is not of this world. When he stood before Pilate, 
He said, listen, you don't understand. I can call 12 legions of angels right there, right now. He said, you got no power against me. He said, listen, I, he is so submissive to his father. He had to let them know you have no power against me. He said, don't you know I got help if I need to call. Somebody give God a praise. I'm going to close. The people were looking for a political king. And they were looking for help. And they missed it. And God's concern, Passover, is here again. Palm Sunday is here again. And we cry, Hosanna. And are we missing it? Are we missing the reality of his call on our life? That he didn't call us to such a time as this for us to live to ourselves. But he called us so that we could surrender our entire life to him and to remind us annually, I came, my God, that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Somebody give God a praise. Let's stand to our feet. Come on, stand to our feet. We're going to close. Come on, minister music. Praise and worship. In the name of the Lord, I got to close for two purposes. Save now. Save now. Self-centeredness has got to cease. Let me, I'm closing right now. We gotta, I got to release you. Self-centeredness has got to cease. It's got to be. God's got to help us. It's got to be about Christ. He said, Jesus came that we might live. And in order for us to live in Christ, we got to surrender ourselves. And when he said, except a corner we fall to the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it brings forth much fruit. I'm here to advise us that God's making a demand on us. Each and every one of us, I gotta move up because I'm causing feedback. Each and every one of us, each and every one of us that named the name of Christ. Again, we're here at another season, Palm Sunday and Resurrection Sunday, and we are to celebrate. But our celebration should be a recommitment Lord Jesus Christ while I got breath in my body while I got air oxygen flowing through my lungs I'm fine huh while I got the wherewithal to function and to move I gotta give myself to God as never before somebody say amen 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 Hosanna the triumphant entry. And if you go by the world's term, they wouldn't even use it as a triumphant entry because he came in there and he got killed that week. Huh? And if you judge by, he was put to death, he was crucified. And if you judge by the world standard, that looks like a failure. Uh-uh. They said if the princes of this world knew, Lord have mercy, they would not have crucified him. If the devil knew that through death he would conquer him that had the power of death. Lord have mercy. Somebody give him a praise real quick. They didn't understand that through death he conquered death held in the grave because they were looking at it from an earthly natural perspective and not from a divine perspective. And he came that he might die. And when he died, he rose again yes. and declared all power is given unto me yes, Lord. in Hallelujah. heaven and the earth. And guess what? I got the keys yes. of death, hell, and the grave. Yes. 
So guess what? You don't have to slay a lamb anymore. You don't have to put any more blood on the door. Somebody, come on. Someone's taking the place of the lamb. Somebody says, I feel like screaming. Jesus. I feel like screaming Jesus. Jesus. I feel like screaming Jesus. Jesus, Jesus the great I am. Hallelujah. No more lambs to be slain. Once yes. and for all. He settled the righteous demands of God. And guess what? We're free. Come on, somebody, we're free. Hallelujah. We're free. If anybody should be singing Hosanna, it should be us. What? Save now. Lord, save us from ourselves. Save us from our false concepts of you. We got victory. And we have everlasting life. And we got a right to praise the Lord. Somebody celebrate God. There should be a praise in that. Come on, somebody give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I'm going to release you. Hallelujah. I'm going to release you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. He whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Free. I'm not bound. I'm free to serve God. I'm free to worship and to praise God. Amen. I'm free to love him with everything I've got. And this is not a ritual. This is not a form. And this is not a fashion. This is not a one time a year thing or season. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Somebody give God a praise. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless you one more time. And we thank you for your people. God help us. The triumphant entry. Help us not to miss it. It's true meaning. Let us not miss the true meaning of the triumphant entry again. You came and you set us free. You forever got the victory. Come on, somebody celebrate. Just Hallelujah. Right, celebrate. Jesus, thank you. So, Father, in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. we give you the praise, the glory, and the honor, and we thank you. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your grace and for your strength. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Now, Father, we pray your blessings upon your people. And we decree the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon Lord, lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And with this, we put the name of the Lord Jesus Christ upon each and every one, upon your families. Go in the grace of God in Jesus' name and be strengthened. And let's celebrate the Lord as we go. Come on, praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise and worship. That's right. Come on. No sin, no sin. But you have sent him from your side. From your side. That's right. Come on. To walk Happy Palm Sunday to everyone. God bless you. Enjoy the remainder of the day. That's right. Give God the praise. As we recommit, we recommit to him. To become a lamb of God. Come on, sing it, sir. Your gift of love. Your gift of love. Your gift of love. They crucified. They crucified.